has had the better, but they've always been very close. But I, I feel recently uh, Jason has uh, picked up the slack. Uh, yeah. Oh, Captain L also using a GameCube controller. Uh, Captain L has to practice for using a GameCube controller for Evo because they don't allow uh, Remo and Nunchuck. All right, so Jason with the hard punch. We actually tested the uh, cheeks forward smash uh, when when it pops out. It's if you hold up and they hit you with a tip, that's when you pop out of Sheik Forward Smash. But if you just get it like point blank, you won't pop out. Like at all. And that's a bouncing fish at the Smash Little platform. Uh, Focus takes game one. Now, it sounds like Captain Nell will be switching to a Wii Remote Nunchuck. But well, I'm not, yeah, it, we, I see his hands going somewhere. It's, I think it's his knees. Maybe he's like stroking his pet hamster, I don't know. <laughs> My pool? Well, I have to face uh, Alex. He's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this is actually been a tough tourney. Even my pool's matches are tougher. All right, so we got a quick, quick Pikachu combo. Captain now sticking with the GameCube controller. Oh shoot, he's not getting touched. That's hard to do versus Sheik. No. <laughs> All right, Captain L going off. Gets him with the electric bolt. Thunder wave. Captain L making some hard adjustments. Tries to read the neutral getup, but alas. He might even try to outspace the, uh, the getup attack, but Sheik's getup attack is just like so huge. She like sticks both her feet out there and it's like... Hmm. Looks like uh, Jason's trying to find an answer to quick attack right now. Uh, Bouncing Fish did not do it. Now, both these characters... She cannot kill at this percent, but she can edge guard. Uh, she can amazing at racking up damage. Okay, so now both characters... They can do stuff to each other. Got Neosol Bouncing Fish. Gets uh, Pikachu off stage. Tries to get it with some sort of thing. Sheik in the air. Not a lot you can really do. You can try uh, do some ledge stuff to her, but it's really hard. Do your thing. Now, I probably would have went through like a down throw mix up. Captain L trying to see like some, what he can do off the grab release. Oh, we got a dash attack out of shield. That is a kill move. Captain L takes the first stock. Oh, we got up tilts. 26%. Respectable damage. Uh, I do not see the smoke and fire. I'm a little, little worried. Oh, he tries to get him with the, with the skull bash, but she just puts her, her foot out there. All right, I don't think. Oh, he can. Oh, he could. He could have got something off of that. And then afterwards, he's just kind of praying for uh, some something. Oh, Focus having a hard time uh, picking up this last kill. A multitude of uh, chic moves will kill right now, including forward air. Tries to get the forward smash. Oh, we got. Oh shoot, something could happen. Maybe like a dash tag, up smash, skull bash. I don't think a nair would kill right now unless off stage. All right, so Cat Focus taking Catnell's first dog on the scoreboard. Now this is very doable. She is very good at racketing up damage. That's what she does best, and she has setups. She actually has more kill setups at lower percent than she does at higher percents. 
So like maybe 60% and it's looking scary. And she can do back up 60% like it's nothing. Uh, Pikachu very hard to land those uh, forward throw bouncy fishes on because of her small stature. Oh yeah, one of those yellow things, that will end it. Alright, tries to get the immediate. Uh, focus with the DI. Good nair after that forward air. I've never seen him do that variation before, but it looked pretty legit. Now this is scary. Sheik does have rage, that is a thing. Now what kind of ledge mix-ups are they going to go for? Alright, so he chose to fast all the down air so that the hitbox would come out. Oh, this... Alright, hold the shield because you can't grab Pikachu. Only specific characters can grab Pikachu after uh, his back air. Alright, now I know what Jason is going for. But, in interest... Oh, up throw does not kill. This is very doable. Oh, and there it is. That will seal Jason's second stock. Alright, good enough. All right, we. I don't. Oh, 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 wait, coming out one. Yeah, So now it's one one, and the pick is Smashville. Uh, all right, one head right now. Also, something to note: these two teamed in doubles, and they almost won. But unfortunately, the team with the most heart clutched it out. Uh, it's been a pretty tough tourney, actually, honestly. I don't know, maybe something in the water? This has been a tough tourney. Huh? I'm good. Thank you, though. Alright, we got Sheik Jabs now. Count out with the down throw combos, but he managed to air dodge out of that. I've never seen that before. Now that is risky though because uh, you got the uh, the custom skull bash variations. Now Jason took that damage because if he didn't, he would have to air dodge out, and if Captain L sees that coming, that would be death. Oh, that was a very good attempt on the up, forward smash punish. That was also a good jab grab. Oh, that was good there. <laughs> Off the ledge. A lot of good things going on right now. Oh, there's excellent spacing on that forward air. Hits him with a thunder wave, but doesn't really convert off of it. We got down throws. Trying to cover his landing, but Sheik landing. Not an issue. Alright, so Reed's a roll. He based a roll by getting close to the ledge. They can present him an escape option. And that will be uh, Jason's first dog. Thunder wave to up smash. Difficult to deal with, especially if you're not accustomed to it. Uh, it can be scary. Alright, so looks like Cavanel feeling a bit more confident. And just kind of like throwing out moves now. We can, we can almost see like the uh, the turn of emotions in this match. <laughs> All right, well that was a heartbreaking set, uh, but Captain Hell takes it two one. All right, so all right, I'll be playing Alex Uber. Uh, if somebody, screw it, I can do it. Oh my god. Alright, let's do this. Oh, no. 
It's Captain L here. You're watching, not actually first round. I should update this. That is, uh, what is this? Winner semis? It's gotta be winner semis. And it's Uber versus Big D. Um, yeah, so actually a fairly even match. I don't really know how Uber and Big D tend to do in this matchup. Um, certainly looks like Uber is, um, giving Big D at least a little bit of trouble. Um, Big D, of course, being the best in the region, so generally tending to defeat everyone, so. And, I don't know, it feels like Luigi might have a hard time getting in in this matchup in particular. I don't know, it doesn't particularly seem like a great matchup for Luigi just because Captain Falcon has so many fast, strong moves that are going to be hitting Luigi's shield and just sending him, like, halfway across the stage because they're so strong. Whereas characters like, I don't know, Pikachu or someone, uh, they would... Sorry, um, I just had someone whisper something in my ear. But, yeah, I don't know. Other characters who don't quite have as many strong, fast moves like Falcon wouldn't send them flying necessarily when they touch a shield because of Luigi's extremely low friction. Um, we got Falcon living forever. Now, Luigi, generally considered a very good character at killing, um, and yet he manages to give Falcon enough rage to kill with a weak back air at um, 90, it looked like. So that is game one for Big D. And we have Uber's Sheik. I have never seen this before. Later, dude. Um, FD, a very good stage for Sheik. I would certainly say it's her best stage. And he misses the... Uh, down, or forward throw to Bouncing Fish. I think, I was actually just hearing this from Jason this morning. Uh, with a lot of characters, after a certain percent, like maybe 5% or so, you have to jump before the Bouncing Fish, and new Sheiks won't actually know this. So they'll see the forward throw to Bouncing Fish and think that they just use it right away like they do at 0%, but it's different. 5%, you gotta jump. Oh, goes for another Bouncing Fish and misses. Uh, will it cost them, though? Doesn't seem to be costing him too dearly outside of the single hit punish he took. Um, down throw up there, Falcon staple, misses the dash grab. Falcon's dash grab is so incredible. A lot of characters in this game, I find, they just made the dash grabs like go really, really far. Really actually giving a 
meaning to it other than the shield cancel dash grabs, which became the prevalent way to actually dash out of a grab and brawl. For for a lot of characters at least. Um, and certainly made it better than jump cancel grab in melee, which basically made any dash grab completely obsolete. Oh, not getting the trump. Uh, Uber able to react to Falcon grabbing the edge and instantly buffering a roll on stage. And we have Uber charging up his needles right into the Falcon jab, but doesn't actually get anything else out of it except for a little bit of damage and possibly some rattling in the head. Ooh, almost lands the Raptor boost, which would have certainly killed Raptor boost. A very strong move for Falcon. And up here, that might have... Oh, there we go. It barely kills. We got down throws, snares. Doesn't actually get more than that, but... Got Sheik off stage and was able to put her in a bad position. Goes for a downer on stage. I'm not 100% sure what that was for, but... You know, at this point, it seems like Falcon has a sizable enough lead that he can be willing to take some leniencies. No tech, but no punish. And we have knee attempts. Certainly would have killed with that much rage on Falcon. Uh, Uber has just been missing all of his bouncing fishes. And I take it back. He gets one when it counts. We got forward air strings by Sheik, only doing 10 damage and two forward airs. He gets the uh, bouncing fish this time. I guess either remembering to jump or maybe different DI on Falcon's part. Um, you know, this game's actually becoming a lot closer. Sheik just um, not taking unnecessary risks and. It almost actually looks like uh, Big D is playing less aggressive than he was before, and maybe it's not working out for him. And we got another forward tilt. And you know, that is basically an even game now. Of course, Falcon has stronger KO options, but Sheik has more setups into KOs, so that is certainly a thing to consider when evaluating who's currently in the lead. Oh! Goes for a really hard read. Doesn't actually get the full punish, but does land part of the up smash. Not the strong hit, however. Are we going to see a Vanish Trap? Nope, just goes for the safe forward air. I like it. Doesn't actually use down throw either. That was a forward throw, which basically sends you up anyways. It feels like all of Sheik's throw sends you basically up. And we have forward throw. That'll put Sheik in a very bad position. Or, well, not really that bad, because Sheik but it's sender quite far away. Oh, oh, is that it? That is it! And we have a game for Uber. Oh wow, we have Big D switching to Rosa, Luma, and Lina. Did they go back to FD? I didn't actually see. Nope, frown and shitty. I mean town and city. And we have all the customs on Rosalina, i.e. the only two that people actually use. Now, last time Big D went Rosalina in bracket, and not, not counting the time he went against me, he got actually beaten by Aegeus, a player who's, who's very good, but um, poss probably not one that you would actually expect to take a uh, set off of Big D. So, I'm not sure how I feel about this pick. I would have actually, I don't know. Big D has expressed how much he dislikes Sheik as a character. I feel, personally, like he might have even wanted to try challenging her in the ditto. Unfortunately, the uh, up air early kill shenanigans with Rosalina that usually tend to be a good idea don't really work on town or don't really work on Sheik because bouncing fish just like gets you so far away from the danger zone so that air dodge is no longer something that he can really read. And are we gonna have vanish traps? No, we are not gonna have vanish traps or even follow ups. Oh, but we are gonna have up airs. Forward tilt to up air, good combo. 
Uh, Uber hasn't really been focusing on killing Luma at all, despite having numerous opportunities, I guess. He would just rather go in on Rosalina herself. Ooh, kills Luma, but then goes right into the charge up smash. And that will certainly make killing Rosa a lot harder without the uh, rage now. It is so hot. And are we going to have Vanish? We are certainly not going to have anything, in fact. Rosalina actually having fairly good landing options. Uh, looks like Uber was actually trying to do some stuff to the Luma there. And he goes for the read on the roll, doesn't actually get it. It was a pretty good idea. Luma just with so much base knockback, it's incredible. Uh oh. Not an SD, but certainly not putting him in any sort of a good spot. He did come back from just this far back last game. However, that was against Falcon, a character who has like very swingy momentum in games. Uh, as opposed to Rosalina, someone who gets the lead and then I would say pretty much your game plan is don't even let them near you so they can't take the lead back. Tap, tap. Oh. Trying for the Luma stuff. Uh, Uber doesn't actually get the last hit, which would have been enough to kill Luma. Because it would have sent her straight up and then she can't really recover when she's off stage. Poor Luma. I don't actually feel bad for Luma at all. Oh, getting some stuff on Luma. And rushes right in for the grab. Doesn't actually co convert the uh, bouncing fish. It's definitely a tough situation for Uber right now, but gets a bouncing fish. Is it enough? It is enough. So, I mean, with Rage and also just with Sheik being the safest character in the game, this is certainly doable. And we have four throws, misses the bouncing fish. I don't actually know how much Uber has played Sheik. I really only remember seeing his, um, what was it, his Luigi, his Diddy Kong back when Diddy Kong was the thing. I think I've seen his Greninja before, but not his Sheik. It certainly isn't difficult to see why someone would want to pick up Sheik. Sheik is just so strong right now. And Rosalina dodging the grab by jumping for her up smash. Oh, is that it? Nope. Bounces off the ground. Ooh, very nice read on the roll. And is this going to lead to something more? It's certainly going to get a kill on Luma. Oh, so close. And definitely has Rosa on the ropes. One read here on the edge getup could spell doom for Rosalina. Not really pushing his advantage. Rosalina knows that he really wants to approach right now because of the whole Luma Dawn thing. Um, and we have up smash reads. We have forward tilts. We have up here, so that would kill. That that did kill. There we go. And that'll be the set. Within one hit, again, just like versus Cantrip. And I, I guess we might as well play at winners finals now, so that's me.
Can the stream hear me? All right, we've got winners finals. Um, Big D versus Captain L, classic BC winners finals matchup. Custom Pikachu. I've got a, I've got a peanut gallery over here. Um, they're bashing my commentary, making nasally impressions of me, but that's okay. Um, so very good uh, down tilt at a shield on landing forward air. Uh, so, uh, Captain L's P Pikachu's forward air um, looks very safe on shields, but quick enough moves can beat it if he lands in front of you. It looks very safe, but things like Yoshi's Jab is one that I use. Uh, and Big D's DDD's down tilt works sometimes too. Um, oh, very good. Uh, he canceled, got the quick attack cancel into a forward air and got a, a little spring off that. Oh, he left himself vulnerable. He was able to drift back. King DDD, not the most mobile character, wasn't able, able to capitalize. Gets the grab, back throws, gets the kill. See ya! So now, Big D with the uh, with the stock lead. And one thing that I noticed tends to happen a lot between these two, is it'll look really close for the first stock, and then Big D will, if he gets the KO first, he'll kind of just play super safe, and not get killed, and he'll, he just kind of runs away with it. He's building up damage very gradually. Oh, Thunder, Thunder, ooh. Raw, raw up smash. Uh, so, Pikachu has some very, very good, very strong uh, confirms into things like up smashes through his uh, paralyzing thunder jolt. But he got, he just ran in with a raw up smash. He saw it happen and he got it. Uh, so he takes out the stock, and now he doesn't have to play from behind anymore. I mean, he still has the percent deficit, but he can work with that. He doesn't have to force a kill. Big D, on the other hand, uh, went for that down smash. Covers his uh, Pikachu's ledge options very well. Uh, very hard for, for not a whole lot to beat that. And it sends him flying, and he solidifies his lead a little more. Captain L, both kind of, ooh, good, good, uh, baited the roll in and uh, got a pivot grab with Big D. And a little more damage, getting pretty close KO percent. That's one thing that's a very strong, <laughs> a recent addition to Big D's game is he combos neutral air into things. So he did a, did a drop down neutral air, very little landing leg, just pops Pikachu up, and then he jumps up and up airs him for the kill. Uh, Captain L acknowledging that that was going to KO for sure, and uh, he just does it. He just rage quits. Hi, Barada. Uh, okay, so game two, we're going salty run back right back to Smashville. Same matchup, although uh, Captain L opts for the um, for the standard jolt instead of the paralyzing jolt. He wasn't landing a whole lot of paralyzing jolts. And another important thing, uh, I believe, in this matchup, well, for one, the standard thunder jolts travel further. Oh my goodness, Spike! But it doesn't matter because Pikachu. Um, but yeah, standard standard thunder jolts travel further than the paralyzing jolts, but they also do more damage. And I think the key is that. Par Standard Thunder Jolts will actually deflect Gordos, whereas Paralyzing Jolts won't, because it's percent based and Paralyzing Jolts only do like one damage. So, I guess that was his rationale for that. I do agree with that, and I literally just explained why in the stream. Yes, because yeah, exactly. 
See, my, my, my co-commentator here, my, uh, my peanut gallery is actually showing some game knowledge, and I'm impressed. But yes. My main knowledge is how sexy Jake is. <laughs> That's very relevant to the game. But yeah, uh, Captain L has a, has a bit of a lead right now. Um, has a percent lead. He's stuck on the platform, waiting for uh, Big D to overcommit and give him a chance to return down. Um, now he has to recover. Big D does not get the ledge trump, which I believe is what he was looking for there. So, oh, uh, that's a very powerful option for Captain L. Uh, quick attack. It has a pretty strong. Ooh, very good read. That's one, one, another very strong thing that Big D's been doing lately is he's been reading jumps with others. So he kind of hits him with like a jab or something. Ooh, reads a jump and chases with the uh, with the up air. But then there's that. The uh, the heavy skull bash reads the air dodge and. Um, <laughs> And he, he gets the uh, the read into Heavy Snow Bash. Uh, Captain L was actually talking to me earlier about how uh, Big D very rarely air dodges because the risk just isn't worth it. Because it can result in kills so early, but that time he did catch one. Very rare to see, but... Captain L gets a, gets a, a, a non-sweet spotted Heavy Skull Bash for some extra damage. Gets a nice little up air string. Gets stage control, gets some damage. But where Pikachu excels in comboing and just movement, King DDD trumps him in his damage output. Each hit does way more damage than Pikachu's individual hits do. Cap Big D gets the jab, but uh, Captain L still grabs it and maintains control. Oof. He gets the uh, the both the hammer hit and the Gordo hit from the Gordo, and that does a ton of damage as well. He could do like over 20 damage, I believe. What's he, what's he gonna do? He's, Big D is looking for a bad habit from Captain L. See, this looks like it's in Captain L's favor, and it is. But one strong hit from King DDD could do it, especially since he has rage. Back air is scary. Down smash is scary. Up air is scary. There's that thunder jolt, and he taunts. There's the uh, the knowledge. Short hop. Up air is just to keep him on edge. Thunderjolt shields the up air. Oh, oh, shoots the Thunderjolt wrong way. Um, missed input from Captain L. And he's backing up, giving him a bit more stage control than I would expect. But regains it, gets the up air. And now King DDD is almost at max rage. This is, this is pretty scary. A lot of things could kill from both characters. Goes for the Thunder, but that rarely actually lands. Just have to kind of out of it. The back air almost killed, but you hit him from the other side of the stage so he lives. Oh my goodness, up air is getting close to killing actually. He just needs, oh, and he gets the up air kill. Captain L KOs King DDD. Oh yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, and this is winner's finals. So just update that. Fair. So we're going into game three. Are they gonna go right <laughs> back to Smashville? I don't agree with that. Can you keep them away from the players? Well, I'm I'm holding down commentary, so someone else can do that. I've already considered it. Okay, anyway, we've got a surprise character switch. We've got Custom Fox. So, Big D was playing this at a Smash Fest yesterday, and um, it was giving Captain L a little bit of uh, frustration. Uh, he has a, a big laser there, which uh, does actually have hit stun. And he has a custom up B, which can get net early kills as well. It doesn't travel quite well. Uh, I think it's twisting. It has like a weird grayish, bluish, like, hitbox type thing animation. It kind of makes sense that Big D would choose Town and City then, especially with the lower ceiling. Yeah, absolutely. I know Chaos Noob took me to Town and City once with Twisting Fox and it would just kill yeah. Sonic at like ridiculous amounts. Fox very much a, uh, a vertical KOer between his up smash and his up B, uh, and his up air as well. That up air, that thing, that yeah. almost <laughs> looked like it could have hit him. 
Uh, another thing that's really strong uh, is down air combos. It doesn't combo in the traditional sense where you like just drill them in and they kind of hang there, but it actually pops them up at just a right degree of knockback that you can sometimes follow up with run up up smash. It's really cool looking actually. Oh, oh my, my goodness, God. he spikes oh. him! And he makes oh, he's barely, wow. barely far enough. That was a, the most interesting update. Yeah, wait, Captain L there? with a rare technical flub. He only gets one, uh, one hit of his uh, quick attack out and doesn't quite make it back to the ledge because of it. He has, he has to change directions to do it a second time. Right? He does have to change directions and he just has to time it properly. I see. That's a, a very rare thing to miss. Oh wait, Captain L isn't taking the paralyzing button. No, he uh, switched after game uh, one because uh, the paralyzing jolts don't reflect Gordon's is the biggest thing. And they, they also reach brighter. I'm not sure why, if there's a particular reason he didn't choose uh, them against Fox, right. but he's played this matchup before in friendlies. Um, he knows something I don't. Maybe he just wants to try standard Thunder Jolts and see how that helps. The other thing too is Fox can reflect Paralyzing That's Thunder true. Jolts, and I imagine Captain L probably doesn't want to get hit by a taste of his own medicines. And I think it actually paralyzes longer if it gets reflected. That's back probably here, true right? too. I've heard that. So yeah. Fox would probably get like a charged up smash or something, and it would be gross. Yeah. Yes. And I would not want that to happen. Especially, especially against someone as low as light as Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh, oh he. That was. <laughs> that, that was that was a, that was a flub. He didn't walk. He saw Captain L with the um, the, the up. The side B on Probably shield. Probably should have went pure horizontal. Yeah, he, he like, yeah, he walked over to try to get the up B, but he waited a little too, a bit too long. Yeah. A little bit of flubs, but uh, Big D has a pretty significant lead at this point. Yeah. Captain L is very much playing from behind. That SD cost could even kill right now. This it could, turn into a could. Stock. yeah, it could very easily. Yeah, we'll that was a good up smash though. That, uh, he kept, he timed it just perfectly so that the incoming down air didn't hit him. The good stuff. Yeah. Although he is, oh, very nice uh, pivot forward tilt. Space perfectly. Is. Yeah, that was very good. And Throws yeah. out the thunder. He's not gonna get hit by that. Uh, he does have the invincibility. He did not grab the ledge, so he wasn't gonna get hit by that down, air. down smash there. Oh, that man. is the down air I was talking about earlier. It popped him right up, and then he ran over and up smashed him. Oh, okay, curse. <laughs> that okay. That happened like two minutes after I said it. So, uh, Big D now up 2-0, and Captain L needs to find an answer to this box. All right, it's best of five, because it's Did finals. I say 2-0? I'm bad. Thank you, Anna. Anna knows this game better than I do. Anna can count. Yes, Anna can count. And Jake cannot, apparently. Mm-hmm. Okay. We are back so, on starter yes. bill. Game four. Start starting. Captain yeah. L likes his smash bill, as do most people. And yeah, Captain L is actually taking Thunder Wave this time. Ah, uh, that would make sense. It is a very strong move. Yes. He just has to be careful about that reflector. I feel like Big D's probably going to save it. He's not going to throw it out very, very often. What's the advantage of the big reflector? Um, it... I don't remember, actually. I remember him saying it. I think it, like, maybe reflects things more quickly. I know it doesn't have a hitbox, and that's the downside. But I think it has a windbox as well. Yes, it does, because he was trying to do janky windbox games to me oh, yesterday. Almost so. as if the shine spike him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, not quite, but I mean, almost? It's weird. Oh, good follow up. Uh, gets the yes. dash attack. Yeah, okay. from another. another yes, I'm sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> so. <laughs> Ryan, very attuned <laughs> to sonic sound effects. He hears them in his sleep. Pikachu's, like, dash attack is so strong. Yeah, it's it's really good. It can KO. It just did like over ten percent. It can KO. It's risky though. Ooh. Yeah, oh, that was good. Good nair to in yeah. intercept the side beam. Um, Sometimes, but, but Big D still had his jump. Oh, he tried to catch yeah. the air dodge. I feel like if he had gone the other direction, it might have landed. But he was also very close, so it was really ambiguous. It's hard to tell which way he needed to go to land that. So Captain L is doing a good. Ooh. Yeah, whoa. Uh, the other wow. Side of the stage. the, the yeah. <laughs> uh, so Big D uh, went for the dash attack to try to catch uh, Lannan falling through the stage, but Lannan fell too far away, and he recognized that Big D was approaching, and he threw out the heavy, heavy skull bash. Does Pikachu not have a get out option out of that? Uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, I know Sonic can spring, but not yeah, here, so. Yoshi can double jump out. Very nice. Quick attack isn't quick enough. It's not. Yeah. If it if it was Smash 64, it would be because in Smash 64 he has that invincibility from frame one. But this is not Smash 64, and I'm really glad Pikachu does not have invincibility from frame one in this game. Oh my god. That would be stupid. Yeah. <laughs> it's already strong enough as it is. 
He can very do it strong good. enough as it is, yeah. yeah. It's, quick attack is very strong in neutral in this game. Just kind of playing off the oh, here. strong uh, up air, catching him out of his uh, Captain L dancing around. Yeah. Oh, good down tilt to beat out the, the forward air. Are you going to go for anything? Nope. nope. Oh, he's waiting, he... waiting out the thunder. That's smart. Yep. I probably would have tried something there, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. No, Big D very patient, not going to push anything he doesn't have. He knows At the same time, he, well. he, know, he knows his Pikachu well. He knows he just has to has to play it safe, and something might happen. That was a bit of a greedy uh, up smash, but you know, I ever, I he does want that really kill. I wasn't thinking about it, but Captain L is quite a decent lead here. I wouldn't say, like, yeah, he very does. big, but yeah. The percent lead is strong. And the, the fact that your opponent has to KO you makes things difficult. That was a really, like, the, I feel like the platform kind of pulled uh, Captain L out of his, uh, out of the out of the up air, and it, he was able to get a forward smash punish. So yeah. Very strong punish from Big D. He goes for the janky heavy skull bash and misses. If that had hit though, I think it would have killed. It would have killed, most likely, yeah. He went for it a bit, but it's okay. Captain L still has a pretty big He's right okay now. with that. He lost the stock lead advantage, but he has such a, a high percent lead that this is his game to lose at this point. Yeah. Especially with as good of a character as Pikachu. Yeah, like all it us. takes, if he, if he gets hit by a single paralyzing jolt, that could be the game. That's yeah. one of the strongest things about Pikachu's customs is when he's in this scenario where his opponent's in kill percent, all it takes is one paralyzing jolt. It's such a safe kill confirm move. Yeah, like, it, it requires no com commitment, and if you land it, it's pretty much a free up smash. I mean, or a projectile that confirms Ooh. kill. Ooh. Good, he, sh he shielded the side B. And shielded too. Yeah, got the forward smash. He was just at just the right space. And with that, Captain L takes game four and pushes this to game five. Very good stuff from Captain L. This is tight. This is tight. Oh, well, Big D switch. He won't switch. Oh, the Rosalina? Oh, the fan favorite Rosalina comes up. Do you know if Big D is going to be yeah. using Rosalina at Evo? <laughs> oh, man. We've already got some hate coming from the crowd. Ironic calls of Rosalina being the most spectator friendly character. Yeah. BC so, apparently needed a Rosalina, and we would have the best player in BC play Rosalina. This is actually a very interesting choice because um, <coughs> yesterday, Captain L just figured out a very uh, interesting fact about this matchup. Uh, it's a nice option that Pikachu has, and I'll point it out if and when it happens, which right. it probably will. But um, it involves Heavy Skull Bash. Ooh, there it Was is. That it? Yep. Oh, that's so, smart. Heavy Skull Bash can KO the Luma in one hit. Because it'll, it'll knock him away, and then he goes into free fall, and Ro Luma, Rosalina can't control it. And if he if he does it at such a spot where, um, Rose, where the Luma will fall off stage, he can't come back, he just dies. That makes sense. So he can KO Luma does, with one hit. Does Luma have any knockback scaling? Does he have percent? Uh, I don't know. I don't believe so. Oh, he landed on the platform! <laughs> the platform saved Luma! Oh, my. The other thing too is forward throw sets up for that extremely well because forward throw, although Luma can knock a lot of characters out of their grabs, yet he gets a heavy skull bash. Hand. He can just get it any opportune moment and sneak it in whenever he needs to. But the forward, the forward smash, oh sorry, the forward throw, the hitbox, it has like extra hitboxes that can hit other people that are too close, and that will actually lock Luma down so he can't hit, uh, hit him out of his throw. Is that the? Oh, That's okay, the one where he like puts him on his back and like shock, 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 shock. Right, I was gonna say it's the one where he kind of yeah. charges you, like, yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Sense. And then after that, like, that sends Rosalina flying. Luma's still sitting right there. That's, and that's prime positioning for Captain L to throw to Heavy Skull Bash. And that's how he got rid of Luma the first time. Let's see. Yep. Is Big D looking to main Rosalina now? Or? Um, Big D has no main. That's true. He plays whoever. Uh, but right now, despite the uh, the Luma tactic, this is looking very strong for uh, for Big D right now. Killing the Luma, but he hasn't been killing Big D a whole lot yet. Yeah. Throws him up, sets up, looking for say, an up I wonder up air. part of the reason why Big D chose to go to Town City is for those up air chains. Oh, yeah. Uh, Rosalina has some very strong uh, upwards KO options. Captain L does as well. Ooh, Oop, there's the heavy spell dash. <laughs> But yeah, K Rosalina can kill extraordinary, wow. extraordinarily early Almost with, with a dash. Up, up airs, and even with dash attacks. Because it sends you like at such an upwards. Oh, oh no, that? that was costly. He SD'd. He down aired to try. He tried to go deep to intercept Rosalina's recovery, but he went too far and he 
was seemed able like to an all that. or nothing situation. Yeah. I, he didn't need to do that, I don't think. I that think seemed unnecessary. Yeah. That was a bit too risky. And that's gonna cost him. Now he has to force a KO in, on Rosalina, and that's never a position you wanna be in. And Rosalina's at a Rosalina, very low percent. Yeah, she's relatively low. She is can be very safe when she wants to, so it's. If you have to force something on her, it's bad. Similar situation with like Shake. Well, most yeah. of the top tiers, really. Most of the top tiers, yeah. Luma, KO'd again, and now Big D on his own, but again, it's. Captain L hasn't been getting a ton of mileage off these situations so far. A lot so of people far. say, like, Rosalina's a lot more vulnerable than Luma, and obviously that's true, but she's still she a still very has... safe character overall. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Very like, good you still can't force tilts. anything. Yeah. Yeah. Her hitboxes are solid. Fairly legless. Oh, nice perfect field and punishes with the dash. Yeah, Big D is still running away with this, despite the fact that Luma just hasn't been around most of the match. It's almost lap Captain Ollie. Oh, is this mm. gonna do it? Good tech from Big D. Of course. And now he he had to up B, which could have been bad, but P, but Captain L was busy because he had to grab the ledge after that stage bike. So he wasn't able to get anything off of it. Good Nair. Sends him the wrong way though, so it doesn't kill. Ooh, oh. Gets the up air, and that almost does kill from the bottom of the screen. That's crazy. That up air is insane. Captain L is going to need a Captain Miracle at this point <laughs> to pull this victory out. Yeah, Big D's almost looped Captain L for percent like. Yeah, he's going to lap him. This is where Mario Kart... Like, oh, Captain L's... Yeah. Oh, he just uh, completed the final lap. Mm -hmm. So now he got the KO, but he's at killing percent, basically. Especially with someone as defensive as Rosalina. Yeah, this is a scary spot, and... Big D knows he doesn't need to approach. Captain L knows he doesn't want to force the an approach. It's quite low, honestly. Like, it is. Big D can stall it out if he it could. chooses to, but he Big D's, won't choose to. He's such a big lead. He generally doesn't choose to. He's kind of prideful like that. He doesn't want. He doesn't enjoy timing people out. But and yet here we see him grab releasing Captain L. Oh, is that a tactic that a lot of pro smashers used to stall at times? Um. Well, it can. I don't know how much that matters in this game, but it can. Yeah. Refresh moves. Uh, it extends the grab for as long as possible. You tack on some extra present. And you can, depending on the character, you can kind of get some... You can put your opponent in awkward situations with grab releases. So this this match has basically just gone... Well, Captain L, with a little bit of desperation, he knows he's so far behind, he really wants to get him with, with like some kind of janky... Oh, oh my god! Oh, no! What just happened? Okay, so that was a trade. Heavy Skull Bash with something from Luma. Yep. Wow. Does it go through Luma? Wow. It didn't. It didn't. It doesn't go through Luma. Heavy Skull Bash hit Rosalina, but Luma was next to there, and Rosalina and the Luma like came back. A hitbox came out and hit Captain L. I think Captain L hit Big D as he was throwing so, like an up so or something. Captain L hit. Rosalina. Yes. But did hit Luma and Luma swept Captain L back. Yeah, Rosal I think I think my theory is that Rosalina tried to do like an up air or something, but it didn't come out in time for the the hitbox didn't Rosalina's hitbox didn't hit Landon. Because Landon hit him with the skull bash, but Luma's hit Luma wasn't hit, so Luma's hitbox did come out, and that's what KO'd Captain L. That's my theory. I don't know if that's I right. I wonder if that was even but... on purpose, but that's smart. I think that was just a really scary situation that ended up in some really jank. Some super jank. Yeah. That was a really tragic ending, but uh, good stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm updating it. Uh, so we've got Len versus... Focus. Versus Focus. So the last time these guys played, I believe, was at EXP. Last week? Uh, yeah, last weekend, and Len beat him. 2-0, Yes, 2-0. Uh, that sounds right. Uh, right now, uh, Focus is having a pretty good day. Uh, he, he comes off a win from uh, against Alphakins earlier today um, in winners. Lost to Captain L. Uh, he cited customs. But <laughs> of course. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, he's feeling strong right now. He's got a really good lead against uh, against Len. And yeah, that's a very good position for Sheik to be in. I mean, if you're yeah. playing Sheik and you're like equal stocks, lower percent. Yeah. It's you can just keep him, keep him, make him work for it. Yeah. Make make your opponent work for it, and that's what he's doing. Len does put in work though. He has a very strong punish game. His neutral game is really good. Many ways and to kill. Yeah, he has a lot of Ooh. strong kill killing options inherent to Captain Falcon as well. Smart. Len saved the jump there. Yes. And gets but that bouncing fish though. Yep. Uh, focus doing a very good job right now of uh, keeping him in a bad position, just pressing his advantage, doing chic stuff, and making it work. Yeah. Forward I mean, tilts. 
Matchup wise, I feel like she should. Uh, Captain, I, Captain Falcon should almost be jungle fodder, but. Yeah, absolutely. Captain Falcon is jungle fodder, and <laughs> and she has very good jungle. Good tech from uh, Focus. Oh, he spot dodges, but too early, so he gets hit by the side beat. However, Captain Falcon had no rage, or very little rage. Combined with good DI. Oh. Yeah, it didn't pay Len almost but, brings it back very close now. Yeah, very strong. Um, I mean, Sheik's not going to be able to get those early combos, so, I mean... Yeah, Captain Falcon's a very momentum-based character. He can end stocks very early, but he can also get wrecked fairly hard if you catch him in a bad position. Completely true, yeah. Yeah. Tends to make him a fan favorite. Everybody loves the Falcon. Pyrus Kyra Ward. Yep. But, um... She's got just such a strong neutral. Yeah, absolutely. And Focus right now is trying to shut that fire from Falcon down. Oh, oh very that good. That is a bad angle, That was yeah. an excellent back air, and that sends him right underneath the stage and will net him the game. Focus takes game one. Now let's oh, see. Convincingly too. Yes, that was a good. That was a that was a good match. Now let's see where we go to for game two. And they are both staying. Mm -hmm. So they go to FD. Yep. Uh, she kind of likes FD. The needle game is very strong. You don't have platforms to run away. I feel away. like characters with strong neutrals generally like FD. Yeah. But, like Falcon can close space very quickly, and without platforms, there's nowhere to hide. Falcon yeah. doesn't have a whole lot of ways to take advantage of platforms. Like at least not as not not as much as many other characters. Aside from like maybe some short hop up airs, but aside yeah, from that, yeah, it's not, that's not even that strong of an option. Most most characters have better up airs for that. Definitely. Yeah. And Captain Ooh. Falcon, the one starting off with the low percent combos here. Yep. Some good, good, good up air strings. Got an interesting down air on shield, but it was he spaced it well enough so that he actually didn't get punished for it. Ooh, Ooh. good uh, up smash, covering Captain Falcon's in kind of a bad spot when he has to land like that. And then catches with the four smash. Yeah. Focus oh, is landing. Ooh, some very big. That's right now. Dangerous. Is Len gonna make it back? Uh, that back. Oh, oh no, the SD. That was huge. Because honestly, Len looked pretty lost there. Like he had very few options. It was just, if as long as Focus had executed properly, that was basically the stock. Yeah. He had no jump. He had nothing to do. All he could do was up the in and pray. But he made that execution error, and it cost him early because he it was happened. not even. Yeah. yeah. He was at low percent. But anyway, uh, he takes the stock shortly after. But uh, so we're still pretty even right now. Still pretty even. Len has him again. Ooh, Ooh, very nice option oh, coverage. Man. If it weren't for that forward air, that would have been a great combo. But it is chic we're talking about, yeah. so. That was still a very good guy. Yeah. Ooh. So many up air combos. Up air, up air, up air. He's up just racking the percent. Let Think about FD. Trying to play quite safe right now. Yeah. He's got the lead, he doesn't want to take any risks. Yeah. But, but he's got such a good camping game that I he feel, can't really yeah. have chic. I feel like Len is, is very good at, like, he... He plays a neutral in such a way that it's pretty safe and pretty hard to punish without just like camping. Oh, and Len that, take that was an excellent read on his uh, his bouncing fish or reaction or something. He just covers it. Or forward smash. It was. Yep. I think he angled it up as well to catch him as he was coming down. Good stuff. One one. Focus is making noises over there. Oh, we're going back to FT. So. When I said earlier that I think Sheik likes FD as well, here's proof for that. He's taking him right back to the same stage. Well, I mean, he did have a very commanding lead in that first stock. Well, I wouldn't say, like, a it was lead, It was solid. He had, yeah, like... Yeah, he executed his inputs wrong. Yeah, and once you lose the lead, that's very positive. Let's hope he doesn't do anything like that again. Oh, Rapid Jab covering his, uh, his spot dodge very well. Oh, Lung seems to be a little bit in his head right now, but... Eh. Perhaps. Yeah. Very much I'm getting face. As I said. If Captain Falcon's got the offense on you, he generally likes to stick to it. Yeah. To a fairly safe extent at least. He's going for some questionable dashes, but doesn't get punished too bad. He's doing alright. Just playing out the neutral here. Very, very neutral, very neutral, very neutral. Oh, the shield grab. He uh, he went for the shield grab on that falling air, but he was actually too low to get shield grab. Yeah. So he was able to uh, punish him for that. Despite that, Len still has his percent lead, good 40%. And he's playing very safe, spacing out those back airs. It's probably one of his Falcons. Better oh. neutral moves. Doesn't get the uh, the ledge trunk in the back air. Surely racking up percent, but 
Oh. Close to a killing percent. It was a little scary, but um, oh, good sweet sweet spot up smash from Focus. Captain Falcon just a little too heavy. Yeah. And oh, he leaned he leaned a little bit too far. Yeah. Oh. The upper is okay. not going to well. kill, but it's going to take him very dangerously close to percent. Oh, very nice up air punish this on is... the bouncing fish. Well, I would oh. say it's in. Falcon's favorite, technically, just because yeah. she has a bit of a hard time killing, but she does have some kill moves that would kill right now. Yeah. Ooh, oh, very nice. He covers the side B with that. And Len is in the lead. Len takes the stock lead. Focus is on tournament stock. Oh, falling up air. He doesn't have high not able to get any. Yeah. Focus could bring it back, yep, but... Absolutely. This is still a very, very winnable match. Definitely. Especially with someone as easy to get as Falcon. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh, focus right the off with those tanks. Game, yeah. Oh, he gets Ooh. the back air. This suddenly and now turned this... into a... Yeah, yeah you after, it too. <laughs> after that really... Wow. Oh rage side B. That was... That almost looked like on <laughs> Got the forward air. Like, that weird offstage exchange just made it... Oh, oh my. Okay. He gets the forward smash, but he's, he's, across, he's across the stage, so it's not going to kill. Oh, that was... Okay. He misses the tech, finally gets the stage fight, but he's at 95%. Suddenly this is looking a bit closer. It's still, uh, still a bit <laughs> difficult for focus, but yeah. yeah. He doesn't have the rage. That's very true. Losing rage is pretty a very big step in these kinds of situations. And there's before, the fact that Sheik has those like safe early percent leads, so yeah. even though it looks like a 90% difference, it's, it feels kind of more like a 50% difference. It still matters, though. Well, with the KO potential, though, yeah. it's a little scary. Falcon, yeah. yeah. Oh, he goes, tries for the falling up there. Oh, he avoids the, um, the down B. I always feel like Falcon takes a bit of a questionable. Ooh, that was and a bad bouncing, bouncing fish, and Len was able to get the punish. He wins 2-1. And now, the next set's also going to be loser's quarters, me versus Uber. So if you want to okay. update that. Someone please go with me. Jake, should I save it? I have to save it, right? Yeah. Save. Yeah. Yeah, the save is what I should really Okay. Oh, wait, crap. Is this hooked to that? Huh? It's hooked to that? Uh, Because I, like, changed your names, then I saved it. Uh, I updated. Now it says Firefly and Uber. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah? Want to commentate with me? I feel so lonely. Dude, that was awesome. Good job. I, I feel like I only won because of the SD, but I'll take it. Well, the second game was very good. Yeah. I guess. After the SD, I played well. That's true. Maybe he got a bit in his head. Maybe, yeah. Anyways, this is EXE FLEN, and we are commentating Firefly vs. Uber. Wait, is this still Losers? Yeah, this is the same round we were on. Okay, so we're still on Losers Quarters. So, looks like Uber's going Luigi this time. Uber's got a lot of characters, so he probably is confident with the matchup, I would assume. Yeah. I think actually Uber might have won the last time I saw this matchup, so we'll okay. see. Let's see, they're playing out the neutral right now. Both characters are pretty good neutral things. Yeah. <laughs> Both very strong airs and forward airs. Well, on Luigi's part, the forward air. Yeah. I, I hate, like, okay. Luigi and Yoshi are both floaty enough that it's difficult to combo them, and then they just have a three-frame there to make it, like, impossible. Yeah, it's, like, such a good defensive option. It's just like, oh, I'm just gonna stick on my Nair so you can't continue your chance. So, okay, Firefly gets him off stage, but can't get the kill from it. Okay. Ooh, he just catches anyway. him in shield midair with the command grab. <laughs> Those <Not> Nairs. <laughs> we were just, like, talking about it, too. Okay, is he going for the dog? Oh, okay. Oh, the, okay. It's actually kind of smart, yeah. That's yeah. Really hardly punishable, too, because if he sweet spots the ledge, then, yeah. And if he drops off or jumps, he gets, he gets money. It covers many options, yeah. Uh, nice back air. The R5 is quite a bit of hit work here. Yeah. And... Okay, he reads the gap wrong and gets punished first. And suddenly, this is looking a bit closer. Yeah. Yoshi's still pretty heavy, though, so I mean, Luigi will still need to put something. Yeah. And now he's lost some rage, too, so. Yeah, the weak. Wait, what? I, I thought that. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what just happened? 
Okay, okay, I guess the dude. I guess the controller I used was not actually my controller. Okay, uh, Captain L feels his controller. <laughs> He's really feeling it. So, Firefly still has the book stocks. And to be honest, I don't think he will kill him anytime that soon. Yeah. Right. Well, he's cracking up some percent I don't think his down B is gonna kill him right here. Oh, he doesn't even go for the down B, he just hit it up there. He probably would kill now, but yeah. Yeah. It's really safe how Firefly goes for that egg toss to cover his ledge. Oh, yeah. Immediately grabs the ledge and gets back on. And he... Yeah. Pressure. I mean, in that situation, Uber would definitely be smart to just pull shield. But yeah, shield pressure nonetheless. Firefly yeah. will take that. Oh, nice stock. Oh, That's gonna be it. Two stocks by Jake. Pretty solid. And Firefly takes game one. And I'm really hungry. <laughs> so, let's see if Uber will switch to a, another one of his many characters. And he yes. does. Falcon? Oh. No. No oh, way. Man. No Maybe way. Maybe he saw your match today. Okay, thanks. Okay, he. Alright. All right. I yeah. really don't know much about this matchup. His DD has been been putting in work. Like last two VSVs, he's too OD with it. So hmm. he's yeah. not taking any customs, is he? No, they're both going full default. God, I want crazy bread. Okay. <laughs> There's no more crazy bread. That's okay. So we are on game two, and oh, okay. Nah, yeah, it's like too low percent. Yeah, like spike. Plus still. DDD's like got three chops and enough. So <laughs> still a very solid 51 percent though. Yeah. It won't kill, but Firefly will definitely yeah. want to take that. And the percent just keeps on coming. Yeah. He seems. I mean, Yoshi seems to just have DDD outclassed in this neutral. Yeah. I mean, the frame made out of projectiles. Yeah. And it goes Yoshi's way. But DDD can pro theoretically DDD can outspace him. So that's true. We'll see. I feel like the interaction between Yoshi's like good aerial mobility and like DDD's Gordos, it like works out in Yoshi's favor just because he has like good aerial mobility. Yeah. And if his aim is <laughs> okay, I mean why not? He's he's in a unpunishable so position. So nice grab. And how will he follow up? Oh right, Yoshi doesn't get, get a lot of follow ups. Oh. Catches the Gordo. <laughs> <laughs> nice nair, forward air. And quite honestly, if Uber gets a hard read, he could take oh, hard blast off, but up yeah. Is do it hard. And Firefly with a pretty dizzy lead right now, not gonna lie. Oh, he does? How much? Nice. Um, <laughs> uh, Have you ever had a bunny match? No, I haven't. Sure. If I, uh, yeah, I know. But he lost to Jake. <laughs> Ouch. That wasn't supposed to be an insult. But like, okay. It just means BC's good. Yeah. BC's good. <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Uh, okay, what's going on here? Um, Uber right. has actually not been taking a lot of percent yeah. here. And Firefly is within kill range. Yeah. Um, and by that I mean kill range with a relatively safe move, but as we say that Firefly is racking on the percent. Okay, catch his hip right at the tip of that mallet. Yeah. And this isn't looking terribly too, like, too far in Firefly's lead, but it is. It is. I was almost expecting him to go for that down throw Nair, but I guess he knows what's up or something. <laughs> yes, I did. So, her, yeah, Cooper's definitely at kill percent. And no oh, up that. Yeah, he's no Sonic. He can't get that third jump because yeah. he doesn't really have Maybe that Maybe if third. he had an up but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I don't know. Just yet. Yoshi uh, doesn't have enough rage right now. Yeah, only 54 percent. And DDD is the hardest character to kill off the top, so... Oh! oh nice very good. Nice by Firefly. And he punishes. Uh, Uber tries to punish, but Firefly gets the harder punish. And Firefly takes the set 2-0. Uh, and where are we in the bracket now? Is this loser semis or what? So now we are in loser semis and we have Len against someone who I don't know off the top of my head. Oh, Len against Firefly. Okay, Firefly, say not.
Okay, so we have a rematch between Len and Firefly. Len actually took Firefly, I think, 2-0 earlier today in pools, which was a pretty big upset, but then it was pools, so it didn't actually matter that much. And starting off, and we're going to Lilat, which is a bit of a weird stage, but I'm sure they have their reasons for it. So starting off playing very safe neutrals, and Firefly gets that command crab. And honestly, neither character is getting too much conversion off this. Both are respecting each other's spacing, because both characters can convert small moves into very high percent damage combos, as Len is doing right now. But Firefly turns it back with some up tilt into aerial chains, and Len counters with. Falcon's jab, Falcon's infamous jab, which comes out extremely fast. Ooh, okay. Firefly, I'm assuming, wanted to confirm that jab into a down smash. Except Len, with his great tech skill, perfect shielded that right on time. And Len's in quite a good spot right now. Quite the lead. Oh, okay. I feared for him there. Falling off stage. And a bit of a random egg roll from Firefly, but... <laughs> didn't get punished for it or anything, and Firefly has pretty much brought it back. I mean, Len is still in the lead, but it's much closer now. Both characters are definitely at kill percent. And Firefly catches that get up very well with a safe nair. <laughs> and a Falcon kick sends Yoshi fly. Oh. Whoa, nair. I'm not quite sure why Firefly egg rolled there. I feel like he could have caught Len's um, approach on ledge better, but it happened, and now Len caught a Raptor boost, and Firefly takes it right back. We are very even right now. Len only having a 5% lead on Firefly. He's kind of starting out as um, first stock did, playing very safe neutrals, and... Len is racking up those low percents, but then Firefly is as well. It's funny because Yoshi's up smash kind of has a similar animation to Falcon's up there. Oh, those fast arcing. Here's man. Oh man, Len very quick with his reactions. Just up, he's right back because he knows he can make it. He knows he's not that far down um, vertically. And Firefly's mm, he's really on Len right now, but it's Falcon, so you never know, honestly. Oh! That knee catches Firefly midair and Len takes game one very flashily. I felt that. Firefly felt that. Pray for him, please. Len was really feeling it, oh my. And we've got a controller switch, and by controller switch I mean Captain Ellen Len doing some stuff. I don't even know. Yeah, but see, that one doesn't have a smash logo. Does yours have a smash logo? Well, then where's mine? <laughs> and apparently, uh, Captain L has lost his controller. Okay, I'm here with co-commenter uh, EXE here. And we've got Baffle Boy, who uh, never comes to tournaments. Uh, EXE is so named because he's the number one MMBN uh, player in the Nor Pacific Northwest. I've actually played most Mega Man Battle Networks multiple times, except for one, because that one's he's bad. He's really good at it. Yeah. Anyways, we are on game two, and uh, it's a run back to Lilat. I mean, both characters have pretty fair neutrals on the stage, so I guess I don't see why not. And Len is just dashing in and out and catching Firefly a bit off guard. Oh, Firefly misses the sweet spot there and gets punished for it. Not too hard, gets punished nonetheless. <laughs> Falcon Kick. I feel like Falcon Kick is like. <laughs> it's like, why? But it I mean, works sometimes. Yeah. It's like, hey, I'm winning now. Might as well go for Sal, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Len's all about the style, really. You, you see that, near, or that knee second game? Yeah. It's all about the style. I mean, why do you think you can't win in the pool, right? That's nothing. I mean, I that's you get money. Yeah. Mm, style and money. You could be Dawson. Style and money. It's kind of like a celebrity. Dawson's a celebrity. Oh, and Len misses the tech there and gets punished with an up smash. And Firefly is stealing that up smash a bit, so that probably won't kill for a little while, but Firefly knows that. He's an experienced player. 
heal, rather take. Oh, Ooh. that Ooh. that last hit, that spike, that semi spike got that was, uh, got land. Yeah, it's definitely still doable. Oh, he misses the sweet spot again. I think it's because Lila tilts. Yeah. It's probably why he misses the sweet spot. <laughs> Maybe that's why Firefly was like, so. Low but I mean, hey, he chose to. I mean, it was Firefly's pick aside from the two that so. It's definitely not too far off for someone like Falcon, who's been known for his kill potential. And he tries to go for fishes for a Raptor boost. Firefly just jumps over that. It's, it's nothing. And Firefly's, I won't say a huge lead, but just because anything Captain Fault, like a lot of things. Oh no, okay. Yeah, you never know with Falcon, just because he has so many sweet spot moves that'll kill you at like 50. But no, Firefly's. I can't lie. He's, he's, he's it down. yeah. He's he's running away with a stock lead. Len's gonna need a bit of a miracle to win that one. And just as I say that, he takes Firefly stock. Um, yeah, I, I wouldn't call that a miracle quite yet. He still he still has about a hundred percent to cover. But oh, okay, he waits for the air dodge. But Firefly's smarter than that. Yep, Firefly's just playing very patiently right now. Yoshi has ways to kill too. And Len's playing very safe right now. Yeah, so is Firefly, yeah. Like, he's really not yeah. Really Firefly's a very smart player. Oh, that, that could have turned out bad for Len, but Firefly whiffed the punish a little. And Firefly went for a down smash there, but he didn't shield. And Len is making a bit of a comeback. Yes, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, he's got like five up airs in a row, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, they're both at kill percent now, especially Falcon with so much rage. Absolutely. It could go either way. It's just like I said, you could definitely get another 60% in a row. Yeah. There you go. When Len gets momentum, he gets going. And is... okay. Ooh, tries to go for a side B. Gets punished for it. Not too hard, but gets punished. Oh, no, okay. The Missed way. the perfect shield, couldn't get the back throw, but I don't think that would have killed. And Fire oh, very nice. Firefly gets, he does get the sweet spot that time. Thankfully, no Lila Jane, and he very intelligently drops down and up airs and catches Len out of shield. So Firefly takes game two. And game three, where did we go? We're taking it back to Lilad for some reason because Lilad is apparently the new best stage. Everyone loves it. And just playing out the neutral again. I mean, really not too much to talk about here. Firefly with a small lead. I think he hit some of Yoshi's down airs and. Firefly is really turning this in his favor, and just as I say that, Len gets a throw, but is unable to convert off that. Firefly texts that very well, and yeah, Firefly is just, he's in a good position, I would say. Not a huge lead, but a good lead nonetheless. Mm. Len's probably slightly going to play this a bit safer now. But Firefly just seems to be catching him in his shield, catching his dodges, and Len gets the tech that time. So Firefly cannot get the up smash punish. Off the forward air. Spike. I think a thing that Len really likes doing is whiffing in and out, just using Falcon's speed to his advantage. Trying to... Oh, wow. Last hit of down air gets that little spike and then he just rubs salt on the wood with stool because why not oh and Len almost seems to go through the stage a little bit to um catch Firefly with that up the command grab of Falcons and nice Captain L gets the spike onto the stage and Firefly misses the tech and that up air almost killed but I mean I saw the red sparks but it just was wasn't enough and he Catches Firefly trying to go for the command grab and gets it with the Raptor boost and suddenly this is looking quite a bit closer for Len. I mean, Firefly still got a very good lead on Captain Falcon, especially with someone as gimpable as him, but we've seen Len make it back. We've seen Falcons make it back. 
pull out a Falcon Punch for all we know, but probably not. I don't think Blend's gonna go for that. Still, Lens. This is, really isn't too far off. Lens at a 50% deficit, but who knows. Fireflies keeping very good lead. Doesn't punish off that um, forward air. Nor that one. I mean, he tried to, but he just didn't get it. And Len is going for a few grabs. Probably mix it up after this, but who knows. Oh, and that's going to be a game. That would have been a tough time for Len. And he brought it back for a bit. Seemed like he got a bit of momentum going. But in the end, Firefly kept his lead very safely. And Firefly will take the set. Is this losers finals or semis or what? Okay. So we are at losers finals. I can't find the mouse. Yay, there it is. All right. We have Captain Al versus Firefly. But keyboard will work. Okay, there it is. Let's work it. And even to this moment, Captain O still unsure if he has the right controller. Because that's what happens when you don't keep track of your controller. Everyone just brings a game controller to these Smash Fests and just never know which one's yours. I'm not even sure what they're doing. Oh, what? Jigglypuff? Nah. For jokes. Oh, they're actually stage striking, because I think Captain L recognizes that Firefly likes Battlefield, so he doesn't want to go fire the Battlefield. And at the same time, Firefly recognizes that Captain L likes Smashville, so he doesn't really want to go to Smashville. So we take it to one of the next best alternatives in the neutral stage selection, which is Town and City. Town and City has narrower borders, which means that kill power is accentuated. So you might see a bit of jank here, especially with stuff like Yoshi's Up Air or Heavy Skull Bash, but I mean, it can work to both players' favors, for sure. Both have some very janky kill moves. Well, I wouldn't even say Yoshi's Up Air is jank. Heavy Skull Bash might be pretty jank. Yeah, actually, yeah, it's pretty jank. What am I talking about? Oh, and yeah, that's not going to be enough. Do you want to commentate with me? Yay, lens on commentary with me. I was just talking about how Heavy Skull Bash might work very well in Town City. Yeah, I mean, pretty thin at the stage, so no really. Yeah, and we're very close here. I mean, I think I've discussed this with Len a few times before. Captain L and Firefly seem to like be very close in neutral until a certain point, and then Captain L just seems to like get a kill and like take the match. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how it goes. Yeah, it's definitely helped my customs, but oh we'll yeah. See. And Firefly does not like customs. A lot of people tell him to take Lick, but I guess Firefly just doesn't like Lick. Who knows? He makes pretty good use of the default like this, I don't know. Like... Yeah, it's a very strong command grab. Whoa. I mean, solid spike. All the way down, and Captain L will not be able to cover that time. Just too much head stun. I mean, yeah, the ability to like grab in midair is very strong. Yeah, definitely. And especially because Yoshi doesn't really have much from, from like grabs, so you think, oh, oh, I'm safe if I just shield, right? But then yeah. he, he pegs you. And I mean, he, he's not gonna get that much off it either, especially if you're good with, like, if you know how to mash out of it properly and safely, but, I mean, he still racked up a lot of percent. Yeah. And, yeah, Captain L takes that back, taunts a little. And I wouldn't say this is too big of a lead for Firefly, but 50% is a decent amount, not yeah. gonna lie. Especially for someone with kill power like Yoshi. Someone with, well, I mean, Pikachu does have a decent amount of kill power with heavy spell dash, so. Yeah. And up smash. Okay, nice dash attack. Uh, Captain L is bringing us back, but I think it's pretty much even now. Yeah. <laughs> and it's exactly even now. You know, I. Is it just me, or is this, um. Match a lot happier than these two usually play. I think I think it is. I mean, okay, Landon. Well, okay, Landon plays pretty simply, regardless of who he's against. Yeah, him. let's be honest. Uh, but Jake definitely takes it slow in this matchup compared to other matchups. 
Probably because he just doesn't want to run into a thunder wave and get shot. That's true, yeah. Nice up smash. I don't even know if that would have killed, but he... Uh, uh, there were no right sparks there. I guess they know the... what would have uh, happened. Or if it's anyway. <laughs> Probably would have killed, to be honest. It is town Probably. Yeah. That's what I was and... No, Captain L... or Firefly took the first game, yes. I... it, it caught me a bit off guard because of the... Um, Great great yeah, but uh, yes, Firefly did win that. Yes, this is um, best of five because this is losers finals. And who knows? We might be in for the long haul here. These two players are kind of even. Cap Captain L is starting off with a strong lead here. And I mean, yeah, there's not too much to say here. They're just kind of playing out the usual. Captain L is indeed powered by salt. He's he's actually playing quite well, really. Yeah, he's getting punished for almost nothing at this point. And yeah, I think as you were about to say something about um, Firefly maybe not wanting to play the neutral so much because Thunder Wave is such a strong option. Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't know. To be honest, I don't think a lot of characters like want to play neutral against Pikachu because Pikachu's um, projectile just covers pretty much the entire stage. Yeah, well, actually, I think Thunder Wave has less range than regular. Yeah, it has a lot less. Uh, this is best of five, Aberdeen. Uh, oh, right. The chat is actually a thing. Yeah. But, uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah, so. It looks like. Yeah, okay, let's take a head stock. He catches that slightly charged up smash. And Captain L with a very good lead right now. And unfortunately, Firefly, I mean, Captain L isn't even at kill percent, so Firefly just kind of has to play the neutral again, even though I'm sure he wants that stock off. Yeah, no easy punishment at percent. Nah. We virtually have the same up smashes now that I think about it. But, yeah. I guess every character that's the same box in their up smash is like Pikachu has one. I guess Pikachu always has one. Yoshi's up smash is like one. What was it before? It was like a it's headbutt, weird, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yoshi's weird. <laughs> Yoshi's very character, yeah. I think Firefly's very happy that he got fucked in this game because he's loyal to Yoshi. Except he probably means Ben and I have no I think that's a bit of an inside joke that I don't know much about, so I won't talk about it. Anyways! Uh, nice back in. Oh, 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 he, he, he goes for it, right, yeah. Good air dodge, though. I mean, you kind of know Captain L wants that, so yeah. might as well air dodge. Yes. I mean, even if you don't air dodge, what's the worst uh, the Pikachu can do to you, right? Like a forward air isn't that. Yeah. Yes. Forward air won't really kill unless you're near the edge at 100%. So. Yeah, and Pikachu. I mean, is down air a spike? I don't think it is. No, is it? it's, it's yeah. So like, worst case, you air dodge wrong. I mean, you're not gonna get hit by a heavy skull back. You're just gonna get hit by an aerial. And Captain L sees it. He sees the tech. Oh, Ooh, oh. yeah. Thunder Wave. Oh, it's still not gonna kill. I'm Yoshi surprised. Is Pikachu had rage there, but yeah, I guess Yoshi is pretty heavy. You're right. Oh, yeah. Nice down B. Going for some hard reads, I mean. I guess Firefly just wants to stalk off at this point. Uh, this is looking pretty bad for him, not gonna lie. And up, oh right, yeah, okay, I did catch it right up throw, but that's not gonna kill, not yet. Nice. I think Firefly air dodged there, and Captain L got the air dodge. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna get my okay. bag real quick. Okay. Because uh, I don't feel my bag looks lonely. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right. I feel much more comfortable here fucking my backpack. Okay. None so of my stuff has been stolen. Yay! Anyways, yeah, so we're on game three now. Uh, uh, Town of City, low ceiling, both characters will be able to kill with their up smashes, so. Yeah. Hopefully, gonna be a quicker game than the last one. I mean, we're even right now. Yeah. Alright. And. 
You know, one thing that a lot of people do on for glory is like the Yoshi jab jab and like dash attack. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> catch it almost better than that. So. Ooh. Okay. I mean, still playing pretty safe neutral right now. It seems like they like play neutral until a certain percent, and they just like <laughs> go nuts. Like, uh, we saw like last game, like Firefly going with some like dodging, shielding, down smash stuff, and Captain L dodges very well there. That's true. And Fireflash has quite oh, a big lead. That was, that was close. Yeah. That was close. <laughs> I, I think. All right. So they play the neutral, and then if whoever is like behind after the neutral is played out, they even have to go in because they don't get time. That sounds about right. So that's yeah. That's probably why it's so well that. That makes complete sense. Yeah, that's totally how they play. And <laughs> I mean, back to close percents now. But yeah, they're not playing a lot of neutral right now. They're playing quite a bit more aggressive. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be playing like a fancy. But, uh, okay, you couldn't connect anything off that. Is that a dash? I'm not sure. He just, like, seemed to, like, slow down and, like, crouch a bit. Oh, oh who won that? They both die. Alright, they, uh, they made the Smash Bros. logo with their death That was cool. And... They will take as much invincibility as they can get, even though they did absolutely nothing with it. Yeah. Well, then I... They don't want the opponent to have the invincibility advantage over them, so... Yeah. It makes sense to do that. It does. I mean, at, at like this stage in the tournament, you'd probably want to play safe as you can. Why not just stall it out for a few seconds longer? So yeah. Again, there. I mean, Captain L's getting off those strings. Yeah. Ooh, those are so, so good against heavies. Oh, I guess Yoshi doesn't fall too fast. Did he just hit a balloon? I think he did, yeah. <laughs> Great. Captain, out. Captain L was just seeing red and he's going to balloon. Okay. Captain! Oh, he reads that. He's I was going to say, he's though. taking a very commanding lead and he just almost... I mean, I saw the red sparks, but yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Down B into... Does it do more knockback if it connects down to Pikachu as well? Yeah, it does. Yeah. That, that causes the Pikachu to the knockback at the end of it. Right. Does it um guaranteed knock you down into Pikachu if it like spikes you down if you land in the thunder? If Pikachu is right under the cloud, like if if he's vertically aligned with the cloud, then yes, I think it is guaranteed. Okay, that's uh, good to know. If Pikachu obviously moves a bit and then the thunder doesn't actually get that thunder. And Paris said something to Captain Allard Firefly. I'm not even sure. Whatever. He doesn't even play this game. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Anyways, we are on game. <laughs> Four? Four, yeah. Four, yeah. And... <laughs> okay, yeah. So, um, mid-match, mid-set mid coaching, I guess, is actually not allowed. So apparently all Harris did was hold Jake's hand, and we'll see if that helps. It is. They're very close right now. Yeah. Again, as we've said, like, every match now, they're just kind of playing out that neutral. Because... Like you said, I guess no one's really confirmed a solid lead yet. Oh, and this might be the lead that turns Captain L on offense. Uh, uh, well, yeah, that's pretty good to I suppose. <laughs> I feel like we're like reading into this so much. <laughs> but like, no, yeah, Captain L is definitely racking on the lead right now. He's a bit on fire. Keeping him off the stage. Uh, oh, okay. So heavy spell dash actually doesn't do much much back at the end of it, it's only right at the beginning, so yeah. that's why, that's why And I'm assuming it, it has to do with a bit with how much he charges into. Yeah. Harris, do you even play this game? Okay, apparently Harris is a Pikachu expert, I mean Baffle Boy, I mean you don't even have an idea. <laughs> okay, right, that's your call. Really one yeah. whoever can land the first up smash or aerial lead. Oh. Yeah, oh! Oh, oh that, was that was smart! Spicy. I almost thought the Firefly messed up a little there, but he knew what he was doing, all according to plan. It's sneaky, right? You got me with that, you got me with that oh. Oh. <laughs> Firefly is really feeling it right now. Yeah. Oh, but he still gets and, and he does that for Glory Call while he's talking about the jab jab. I mean, I think it is guaranteed at like low percent, so why not? Can Captain L just like not dodge it? But I guess like so it's like straight horizontal luck. Like if he air dodges, he air dodges the jab. And if he texts, I don't think it's soon enough. Okay. So basically, you have to play a 50/50 air dodge game. Kind of. No, because the dash attack will cover tech. If the tech is too late, and it'll cover air dodge because you air dodge. Because it just like once the hitbox lasts that long, yeah. that even if you air dodge, you'll have landing leg on the ground. Okay, I see. I see. Oh my oh, god! Oh, oh, Firefly is really feeling at this game. Oh, oh, wow, that was fancy. That was yes, that was very fancy. 
the, the good head of the tails combo. And we are 2 2, taking it all the way to game 5. And apparently, they left town in City or something. Yeah. I mean, y you know, Firefly wants to ban oh. Smashville for whatever reason. They end up on FD, alright. What advantage does Smashville actually give Captain Al? Okay, so Smashville. He's got one platform to uh, quick attack cancel, which isn't too bad compared to yeah. the battlefield. The main thing I just like about fighting Captain Allen's Smashville is if he goes up to the platform, he can basically just thunder drill for days and it's kind of really hard to approach him. So, yeah. And if he's doing his normal thing where he's at the ledge of thunder drilling, if you approach him, he just goes to the platform and runs away. So, Smashville definitely allows people to do play more defensively than he would Yeah, even more so than Town and City, I guess. Because yeah. Town and City's platforms really seem to allow for that. I mean, even though they have more platforms. Yeah. Uh, Captain L, though, is slightly easier. Yeah, a small one, put a lead on the one. What? I'm not sure. Yeah, I've been banning it, like, all day, so it better be legal or else I've been banning nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if he does the grab release, okay, he still had... I mean, I honestly... Because, like you said, uh, Pikachu is really good for Battlefield for the platform cancelling, but then Firefly himself loves Battlefield, so... That's true. I wonder who went on that stage. I wonder who's batting what, honestly. Yeah. And, and if um, they're batting Dreamline, because I would imagine Firefly like Dreamline a decent bit for having that Battlefield shape. The thing, the thing like, that I think best indicates that BC is progressing as a region is that we don't just go to Smash Bros. every game anymore. Yeah. We actually do stage striking at top 8. So. We learn. Yeah. And, uh, Captain L has taken quite a big lead here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. pretty much a kill percent now. Yeah. It's not the biggest lead in the world, but, yeah, it's getting, it's getting big. It's getting a bit scary for Firefly, and this is game 5 too, so... Yeah, he can't afford to really take this thing. Yeah. If he loses his stack, he's uh, So now he's got no rage. I'm a bit surprised that killed, to be honest, because, I mean, before that move hit, Yoshi was probably at maybe like 110. And Pikachu had no rage. I'm, I'm, a, I'm definitely a bit surprised that killed, but it's possible. Pikachu's up smashes is that weak. I always feel like I give it a bit less credit than it's good. And Captain L has more than lap Firefly. Yeah. Captain L's really feeling it now. He punishes Firefly for trying to punish the Eggman. That's why I'm not going to assume that. Take notes. Yes. Okay, I'll bear down B. See, that time's been confirmed into the middle. Right. Uh, does he. Oh. Oh nice my nice gosh, nice. a solid two stock. Yeah, Captain L didn't even hit 100%. Uh, Captain L takes losers finals. And now we're at grand finals, and I'm still really hungry, so. Yeah, no pressure to, for anyone to end this early. I'm really hungry. Go type in Big D or Oni Sean. Type in Big D, right? Yeah. Does he have like a tag like a car or something? I, no, not today. Just heavy. Hey, hey, remember that? Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good time. We did. I think that was the time we knocked uh, Jake and Legit to losers. Right. And we got like super hyped off that. And then, then we lost to me, bro. <laughs> yeah, and then like. I think we lost to Shikachu first, right. which I wasn't, I mean, I wish we won that, but uh, I mean, it's two of the best players in our region, so, and they're like playing top tiers and stuff, but but then we lost to Mebro, and that was quite a bit more disappointing. Oh well, that was... We had a free stuff lead, didn't we? I think so. Uh, yeah. I think like one of us, I think I had two stocks and you had one stock and they only had like one stock, then they took like my stock, then like something you yeah, have. They took our, our stocks at the same time because you grabbed me. And then they then, then catch up just one day one day. Right. Oh, I should save this. Because, yeah. We've oh. got <laughs> Big D versus Captain L. That classic BC matchup. We see this every tournament. We do. And Big D is usually the one who wins, but Captain L actually took a, a tournament on Big D a few weeks ago, so we'll see if he can do it again. I mean, Captain L is definitely looking very good right now. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I always underestimate Pikachu's recovery. Don't, don't, don't be too shocked if I see scared from Captain L. 
Okay. I mean, this isn't like a huge lead, so. There's like no neutral between them. Because I I guess Pikachu would win the neutral? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. It has a pretty good projectile neutral, too. So. <laughs> Let's see, using the, the Thunder Wave, the stunning one, so that's not got, that doesn't have as much range. It will definitely get that range in the arrows. I see. Uh, yeah. But, but I mean, they're he's not going for it. Anyway, yeah. So okay. yeah. Yeah. Big D doesn't really like playing defensive anyways. Yeah, Big D. In Project M, he has a rep for being super like wave and sort of just playing DDD until his opponent dies. Uh, but in this game, no, it's pretty aggressive. To be fair, you kind of have to play lane with like heavies a lot. Yeah. You have to, I mean, know their options out of everything. I mean, that's true for every character, but it's definitely more important with the heavy. We're pretty close right now, Captain Nolan, Big D. Okay. 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 Tried to read that DI, but he didn't actually. Oh, nice smell version. Oh my. Okay. I mean, the scary thing with Pikachu's back here is you're not sure which way it's gonna like go yeah. send you. you it's like, should I tech this? You it's don't like... even know which way to DI. Yeah, yeah, I don't even know. Oh, oh yeah. Captain. Really good at guard. Yeah, I got like three hits off on Big D. And Captain L with a decent lead right now. Yeah. But I mean, Big D's Big D, so who knows what'll happen. I mean, Pikachu's over 100%. This is totally doable for Big D. Yeah. You'd think like a huge hammer would do more than like a punch, but I guess not. It's not as strong as Rapid Boost. And it's about as punishable, I guess. Yeah, that's super awesome. That's the big difference. Ah, right. Okay. So, Big D kind of needs to kill Ford. Oh, yes. That was a nice getup here. Yeah, no, I, I think Cap even Captain L saw it. It was just a matter of like when Captain L was Yeah. No, Honestly, Big D probably could have covered any of the reactions. That's true, because Big D's a god, so. Yeah. And I'm. Yeah, Captain L's got a pretty big lead right now, but it's not enjoyable for Big D, so. I feel like I say that so much, but in, the, in a game with, like, Rage, it really, like, never hurt at all, yeah. But yeah, Captain L definitely has a pretty big lead right now. No, I mean, if anyone's gonna make this comeback, it would be Big D. It would be, yeah. I never even know what kills are intentional, but I, whatever. I, I wish you could just find it to something else, honestly. I don't know if it's Oh, nice oh. gun. Very solid game from yeah. Captain L. And. Oh, Landon, I want sushi! Uh, okay. So Landon is actually using his trusty rear mode nunchuck for these. He's no yeah. longer using a controller. Yeah. Did, did, did he? Use... Oh, wait. He didn't fight you this turn. I wanted, I think, to fight you. I wonder at what point he stopped using it. I wasn't really paying attention. I'm pretty sure he used GameCube against Steam. Or, no, against Firefly. I think he used GameCube. Because it was after his Firefly match. No, that was a Firefly match. That was like just now. Like yes. Well, I mean, did he just switch now? Or? No, I don't think so. Okay. This is this is right, right, right. I don't know. He switched sometimes. So, we're in game two. Big D's going Luigi, switching it up. I've never seen Big D's Luigi, actually. Uh, me neither, actually. I mean, Big D's known for playing a lot of characters, but I guess um, Pit wasn't really working out, which is kind of surprising since that's uh, recognized as one of Big D's better characters. Wait, I just, okay. So in the Skype group the other day, uh, Uber was saying that Pikachu wrecks Luigi, so I think Big D might be trying to prove Uber wrong, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, the Skype group solves. Big D seemed to disagree, so let's see how this goes for him. He does get a nice combo. I can picture, I mean, Luigi just kind of doing his general combos on Pikachu and like killing at a low percent because Luigi can do that. But then at the same time, I can also picture Pikachu gimping Luigi fairly hard, so. Yeah. I know what happens if both their side beasts clash, like, lol. Luigi <laughs> even uses Luigi's death Yeah, I'm not entirely sure Dawson has ever played Luigi before, but we'll see. <laughs> oh my. Oh, okay. Nah, I think that was a bit scary, like, a bit less scary than I thought it was gonna be, but whatever. Does Luigi get invincibility on his upbeat? No, I don't think he does. Oh, okay. He just gets the hitbox. You know, we've got very aggressive play right now. Yeah. And Captain L, again, has about the same sizable lead that he did in um, game one. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, 
Captain L plays safe enough, he could take this lead very far. Very good DI. Downward off the down B, and that was close. Uh, yeah, Luigi like barely got the kill on that, but it's a kill nonetheless. Oh, ooh, okay, he read that with the heavy spell that, but we get very little percent, that's not that. Uh, huh, get up spot dodge, that's kind of Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes, done. Oh, oh my god. Back, Almost, yet. but not yet. I'm actually surprised he lived that. Yeah, I'm surprised uh, Sparks didn't come out, honestly. I think he might have been a bit too far away from what he did at the start of that. Yeah. Yeah. Big D just perfect shields those. I mean, that's really the best way to counter it, just perfect shield it. Yeah. Both these players are very good at perfect shielding. I'm yeah. Like, Their level of experience. Yeah. yeah. Thunder, oh, yeah, I kind of saw that coming, but a bit too far away from the ledge. Captain L has been so good at reading the DI on that recently. Like, I, I used to play him and I would just DI it on Rabbit Flash, but like, I've noticed he gets it almost every time now. He just knows he's very good at DI. Yeah. Uh, so Big D, I think, oh. by an up air. I've never seen that. Misses the tech. Pretty rare for Big D. And Captain L is one game away from a bracket to reset. And we're like never gonna go for sushi. Because yeah. it's like 10 right now. Oh my Damn goodness. It. I'm never gonna money match up. Wait, did Alphicans leave? He's right there. Oh, okay. Go, Rosalina! <laughs> we're hungry! If you do it, we can still get it. You hear that, Dawson? The crowd wants to see a Rosalina. No, I don't want to see Rosalina. I want you to win without using Rosalina. Honestly, I don't even care if Vladimir wins the set at this point. As long as, this, as long as we don't have like a five game set, then like a five game set, because then we're out of here at like midnight. Well, okay, that's a bit of an exaggeration. Maybe like 11 15. I'm calling it. Switching to Sheik, even though Lando has tons of experience just playing with Jason. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Yeah, I've never actually seen Dawson's Sheik. This should be interesting. Oh, wait, no, I did see it like in doubles. Yeah. And I have class tomorrow, so I'm kind of screwed. I haven't done any of my readings. So I asked Dawson why she picked up Sheik, and he was like, because she's the best character in the game. So, I mean, that's a good, good, good reason as any, I guess. I guess, yeah. Even if your matchup is great, even if you don't have much experience, she is still the best character in the game. She definitely is. Um, I think Captain L doesn't actually mind this matchup as much. He feels like it's um Pikachu is one of Sheik's like one of the few characters who can beat Sheik, he told me. So we'll see how this turns out because Big D's Sheik might be an entirely different monster. Yeah. He does have quite a lead right now, but he doesn't get that bad of a kill. Oh rough DI on that down throw, but he lives off there barely. And, wow, I'm sorry, I tuned a little, little bit to check my phone here, but uh, Big D's got a lead on Pikachu right now. I mean, unless he gets a, an up smack, well, not the Zara spot, but I mean, he could get a heavy skull bash, and that would definitely kill. Yeah, she can fight. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he was like a forward area and then kill this. That's true, yeah. Um, up smash will probably kill at this point. Yeah. yeah With like, um... Or up D, or up sort of down B, but just a bit. Honestly, yeah, it's getting close to the point, and he can choose so much... And Dawson misses another attack, that's a bit rare. But, I, like we were talking uh, a bit before about like the backer, you're not sure which way it's gonna send you. If you send, if it sends you the other way, you could awkwardly just like air dodge and not be able to make it back, or like get red. Yeah. I, I have the same problem against DDD's up air, like, how, how do you know what the last is gonna do? Yeah, you definitely multi hit. Especially when it like puts you into a possible tech situation like that, you're just not sure. But, anyways, Captain L has. Well, it really depends on. A bit of a bit, I guess. Yeah. At kill percent. But it is cheap. So. Yeah, so. It's, it's hard to say. And, um, I mean, Pikachu just has such a safe neutral game that if Captain L plays safe enough, he can definitely, like, camp Sheik for a safe lead right here on their second stock. Yeah. Uh, if I were Big D... Oh, dash attack well, kill, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Sheik's dash attack is actually decently strong. And Sheik has to dash attack, so, like, I think he's done well. You've done well. Captain L has done well. He has a solid, well, 50% uh, lead right now. Yeah. And it's good. It's looking pretty decent for him, especially with someone as low kill potential as Sheik. And with customs, Pikachu definitely has quite a bit of kill potential. So, yeah. yeah. Landon would have to really sort of mess up to die at this percent. 
Oh, that, that was kind of cool. Was that quick attack? Yeah, like, I think attack something? Quick attack cancelled with like the edge of the stage and then up goes. Ah, not fair is what it was. Okay. This looked like he like threw out a hitbox, but <laughs> it was so fast I didn't even see what aerial that was. Yeah. Pikachu's down tilt is very good too. Yeah, it's so it's fast. Good. It's like world twirl. Oh, you reached the oh, ice, ice forward smash. It doesn't even wait for um the bounce out. So uh just got three out on stream. This is the power of Weird Mount Gunshot. Yeah. What is this? Uh, three? Well, zero, 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 nine, oh, right. Yeah. Reset. So now, um, Wait, we should, uh, we do the winner loser thing? Yeah. Yeah, we probably should. They are, in fact, both the winners now. Captain LL. Yes. How do I update this? Save. Save. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so. Today Big that, G is taking this seriously, yeah, I he guess. Pulls the road, yeah. He's using a top tier. How rare is this? Well, he just used cheek. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah right. I, I'm apparently falling asleep because it's freaking late and I'm hungry. Err, okay. Um, nobody's done anything yet, apparently, that has led to any percent. Oh, hey, yeah. That, that's a thing Rosalina can do. Yeah, Rosalina's definitely got a very strong. Oh, wait, he's not taking shooting star bit. There must be a reason for that, but. Okay. Actually, Big D is known for like non like puzzles. Well, he just he just wanted to kill out. Oh, right, that, that's yeah. a thing that Firefly told me. I think that Captain Alex doing is like heavy skull bashing the off to the side because it, it, it yeah. yeah, it does so much knockback that it's pretty much just, yeah, it, it is still kills so much. Uh, yeah, it's up there. No, it's it's kind of looking like Pikachu actually has the frames to win this if Captain Alex plays smart. As long as he doesn't make the mistake of just constantly getting out space, I think he yeah, can totally. it. He has to not call for the attack. And like quick attack is a very good attack or very good option for Pikachu to get into it seems. So Captain All has that as a tool, I suppose. Uh, oh. is, is Uber, is Uber still at the venue? Uh, I don't see him anywhere. I don't see him. Uh, he's sure. in the melee room, which it doesn't look like. Or yeah. I think he left. Anyway, back to the dash. Uh um, I kind of saw nothing. Yeah. <laughs> this doesn't really yeah, happen. That was a pretty good lead. Yeah. Still, back throw into nothing. Captain L seems to be quite decent with the Rosalie in a matchup. I wonder how he knows it, or maybe he's just really freaking good. So, the forward throw is big D to get him off stage, and then Skull Bash is Luma straight away instead of trying to go into some follow up. Very smart. You know, Rosalina's like up and down airs are like completely based on spacing, because otherwise they're very slow moves. Yeah, they are. Yeah, Rosalina has to rely on the spacing to make them safe. That's pretty much all of Rosalina's moves. That's true, yeah. She's not great frame data wise, but she has great spacing with her left. That's definitely it, yeah, I could have worded it better myself. And suddenly this is quite a bit closer with, I mean, Rosalina does have quite a lot of kill power if you land both hits in. Yeah. With the Luma and Rosalina, so yeah. It, either character is a kill percent, really. I mean, Rosalina's been light too, so, yeah. Ooh, nice there. Yeah. Gonna kill the chest there though. It's a very strong there though, oh my goodness. Oh, and? That does it. That does. Captain L taking the first stock of this bracket reset. Captain L, I wonder if he can take this tournament, really. Yeah, it's definitely looking like he might be anyway. Captain L is on fire today. <laughs> Actually, now that I think about it, he, he hasn't dropped a... He didn't drop a game last set, and no, he... I thought he dropped on the Firefly. Well, by last set, I mean his last oh, set against oh, Captain right, right. Or Big D. Yeah. So he stage spikes Luma with the up there. Okay. London knows how to deal with Luma. And I wonder how <laughs> confident Big D is in his Rosalina right now, because it's not doing so yeah. hot against Captain L. He has been playing it a lot, so I think maybe he wants to prep it for Evo, but... And, and yeah, going back to an earlier question, I wonder how Captain L's been uh, practiced, how, how he knows this matchup that well. He's probably getting some deep fights toss in every year. Probably. Uh, anyway, Luma dies again, up throw, the air dodge is and, and Rosalina's kind of back in kill percent now, with, yeah. with how light she is combined with Pikachu's rage, I definitely say she's in kill percent. So that Nair is not gonna kill, but the next one honestly might, max rage Pikachu yeah. is Rosalina. <laughs> oh, okay, Pikachu <laughs> will do it though. Yeah. Alright, no more rage. No now more rage. Work a bit more. Just a little bit though. And Big D just playing pretty safe until Luma's back. 
and Luma is back. And a lot of shield pressure on Captain Nose. Not that it really matters at this percent. But... Oh wait, no, never mind. He does have the shooting star bit. Yeah. Oh! Okay. I, I got a bit too hyped for that. I mean, it wasn't the most hyped thing in the world. But, um... Captain L does take that game. And he is... And... Please. And definitely keep in mind that Big D is like like this is the the last set, so yeah. Big D can't afford to lose two more games. I don't think he's joking around anymore. Is the, the I know. <laughs> and like I said, how dominantly Captain L won that game, I'm sure is making Big D question whether Rosalina is a good choice against Pikachu. I mean, Rosalina didn't seem to really work. Sheik didn't seem to really work. Well, she kind of did work. So. Big D's got some decisions to make. Yeah. When, when you're that good and you've got that many characters online, it's like who to go? Who even counters a top tier? Another top tier. Uh, oh wait. Okay. I thought I thought was switching to Sheik, but he's. Are, can they hear us? Have I been talking to no one this entire time? Oh my god. No. I, no. Jen responded to when you told her that Alex left. So oh. They okay. must be able to hear us. Yay! I'm not talking to no one. What's the bracket? Uh, uh, oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Big D opting to go Fox. Okay. So in winners' finals, Big, D Fo Big D's Fox is doing some pretty good work. Now. <laughs> the crouch though. The crouch though. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, Fox is maybe top tier, definitely high tier, I think, and he might not have as, like, solid frame data as Sheik, but he has a lot more kill potential, and Big D's good on the reads, like, he wouldn't play DDD if he wasn't good on the reads, so if, if Big D can get a hard read off, he can kill Captain L's Pikachu quite early with, like, an up B or, like, an up smash or something. Yeah. I feel like um, this match will come down to reads for Big D especially. Right now Big D is making it work. Yeah, there is no neutral right now. Big D's just pulling the trigger really well. Nice nail. Yeah. I'm actually surprised that Fox Illusion just went straight through Pikachu's back there. Yeah, me too. Just, like nothing happened. Yeah. Oh! Okay. I thought something bigger was gonna happen there, but like, apparently not. This is quite close, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so Big D is using that uh, Oh, Captain L fails to sweet spot, yeah. a thing that I hate about oh, myself, but yeah. Uh, I mean, at that angle it was going to be difficult, but especially with this stage that's a flat bottom, you can't just up the into the bottom. Or you're yeah, and it's kind of looking like Fox is Big D's answer to Captain L's Pikachu. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Fox is actually relatively new, I mean, he, I know he whipped it out, like, an online friend oh, with me, like, oh. a few months, like, a month ago. Oh no, what's going on? Okay. Alright, the jabs for days, Pikachu is at 80, 90, Oh my gosh. Right. That was a thing that happened. Uh, that was, that was convincing. That was too stuck. <laughs> I think, you know, probably Landon's not too familiar with this matchup, because Big D doesn't play Fox that much. Uh, so I'm sure he can adapt to it a few games. He can. Captain Null's a very smart player. We'll see what happens. And of course, yeah, Big D is staying on Fox because it worked out so well for him. Why not? Yeah. Especially on a place like Town and City. Oh yeah, that looks good. Everyone's a bit hungry tired out. Both higher. Both higher. Uh, we're gonna one of Captain L's favorite stages here, Gower Plains, because Captain L has a bit of a man crush on Shulk. For good reason. Xenoblade's a very good game. I wish I could play it myself. I've just heard it's a good game. Anyways, so Big D catches Captain L with an unsafe aerial on Perfect Shield, and Big D's just bringing back the move. Still pretty even though. Yeah. Never really see anyone use Fox Illusions like that. Yeah. And D Big D does get punished for it the second Going time, but side B. yeah, that ain't no spin dash. <laughs> Just okay. <laughs> that might have been a 
He might have figured out something. I wonder yeah. if that's a good stuff to quick attack. Or, or Dawson just making a few special decisions. We'll have to see. Like I this. feel like even Dawson, Do like Big D's learning the mashup a bit here. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know what his training regime consists of. Up air actually almost kills. Yeah. Again. Uh, except it's a bit stale, of course. Oh, he shot. Those lasers are actually a pretty good answer to Pikachu's neutral game. Yeah, because if um, quick attack lands too low, then the laser is going to catch it. But if he lands, if it... If oh, that wow. Yeah, yeah, very good. Pikachu apparently doesn't have a very good way to get out of that as far flying as this guy's Yeah, I mean, if Captain O lands too high with the quick attack, then he's going to be in free fall, right? Yeah. And Fox is a fast character, so I guess he could punish that. He's quick enough? To, like, close enough? Yeah. A bit of footsies here, and Captain L comes yeah. out on top. Yeah. I'm not sure about down throw that percent. Yeah, Captain L wants to stalk. Yeah. Because. Okay. Another down throw. I wonder how long Big D can actually keep that jab combo up. I wonder why Captain L isn't doing the up throw here. I feel like it's around the percent where it can do it. Like, to kill or to confirm it into like, Thunderbolt? To, 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 yeah, to confirm it into Thunderbolt. Not Thunder, right. Yeah. I see, yeah. yeah. Okay, that was a bit of a random up smash, but Big D was far enough away that he was like, a part of it. Yeah, now, now Big D's a little too high percent, I think. Uh, unless he gets red. Is that a true combo, up throw into Thunder? It is, I think, if Captain L follows the DI, it is. Okay. So he has to like move a little. Then. Yeah, he has to move a little right now. Unless they don't DI at all then. Yeah. Oh, oh that out. will take it! Wow. Uh, Twisting Fox, so strong. No, knew exactly what get up option he would choose there. That was a hard read and it paid off for Big D. Captain L still has a game though. Yeah. Could bring it back. Uh, um, if he figures out the Fox matchup like right now, he could do this. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Is Oh, Vicky just likes his colors. Yeah. Er, okay. Okay. Colors are very important. So, Big D going red fox. Oh, oh my god. He watched that video where it was like red wins more than blue, so now he goes red skins. What? All his characters. What is that? Statistically, in most games, red has like a slightly higher win rate than blue. Big D's done his research. Yeah. I wonder if we could see a uh, color counterpick from Landon eventually. Or he's he's going to switch off these blue sunglasses. Nah. Right. Captain <laughs> Alexis goggles tube. Oh, okay. Up tilts. Pikachu actually falls quite fast. So those are really? I mean, he's not a fast caller, but he's a fast as I see. I never knew that. Oh, and this, uh, is, this is a bit unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, this matchup actually looks pretty rough for Pikachu. Yeah, I think just because Pikachu doesn't have a lot of ways to get out of boxes on the chain combos. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, up Dawson up just up catches him. Oh, okay. Captain L has... He has a lot of work to do here. Not entirely impossible, but definitely a lot of work to do. Did I update the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so... Crouch tech being yeah! right now. <laughs> I mean, what's Big D gonna do? Yeah, no, but the Big thing D is, he has, he has no reason not to yeah. So, uh, dinner is gonna be five minutes longer than expected. <laughs> it's 10 30 and none of us have eaten. Yeah. It's painful. Oh, he oh, reflects the thunder. This was definitely a great day for everyone to come. Because. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, like even people from Alberta came, so that's the first Yeah, I mean, there. he's on Alberta time. It's probably like 11.30 for him or something. Wait, is there... <laughs> it's true. Actually. Is it there? Yeah. It's like one hour They're faster in Alberta. Yeah, one, yeah, one hour later. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're landing on the edge here. Anyways, yeah. Comes up tilt to up air, not gonna kill though. I hope I we didn't accidentally provoke Captain L to play too aggressive, but but I mean in actuality, uh, Big D does okay. have the percent lead, so he could stall him out yeah. if he, if that's really what they want to do. Now Captain L is just working on his tower shielding. Yeah. I don't know if he has hope at this point. He should still have hope. I'm sure he can do this. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a. It, it, it's looking more like a mountain here, but and it, who knows? Heavy skull bash. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> The name of this game is Can Captain All on Heavy Skull Meshes. Oh, up and go, maybe? Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that sends him a look rage and stuff, too, yeah. 
Okay. Captain L's got a bit of a football. Okay, yeah. Nair sends up the wrong way, that's unfortunate. If Captain L gets a kill, like, very soon, this isn't entirely a That was bad time. Okay, okay. and he, okay. he doesn't like, get the kill right there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, last stock, game four. If Captain L can take this stock, it's weird with game five. But he has a pretty big kill to climb. 87, 90. Yeah. I don't... I mean, on one hand, it's kind of hard for Captain L to approach, but on the other hand, he really can't take too much more percent here. Yeah. Fox is, um, he has no rage, so he can't kill, like, right now, but... He probably can. Yeah, uh, with Twisting Fox, right, yeah. Oh, or down air up smash. There it is. Yeah, just kidding, Fox with no rage can kill. Yeah. I have been proven wrong, and Come Big D here, takes the set. So, Landon finally found an answer to most of Big D's mains, but...